Hey guys from the RPF, this is Klein again. I'm gonna make you a little video because I got somebody on the forum asking me to make a video about the black V2s that I made um, last year, I think it was. Uh, those shoes usually come with the midsole uh, getting black with some gold splattering and I thought it was just looking horrible and uh, too much like makes you look more like a pimp less than a uh, Back to the Future fan so I decided to repaint completely the midsole as you can see I'm sorry I cannot show you in very much detail with my fingers what I did and how I did that because I have to take a phone on the second hand to be able to show you the details um, what I did especially was so painting the midsole in black. Uh, I did, I think, five layers of some black paint from uh, Angelos. I do not really remember the name. I have to check again the box uh, where I got all the paints for the shoes. Uh, the splattering is made from the uh, flat white Angelus paint and it's very easy. You take a, a teeth brush and you just spray uh, the paint on it. You just have to cover all the parts of the shoes with some blue tape from 3M. If I do remember good, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, for the swoosh, uh, for the swoosh, I did use fake laser, uh, marine fake laser, so at least uh, the swoosh would stay in good condition. I could wash it wash it, sorry for my English, and uh, it would stay over the time in place, it wouldn't get burned by using some very uh, tough glue. Okay, now about the Nike Mag logo. Um, you cannot really see the real color it is. It is like neon, uh, yellow neon that is on the Mag. Uh, to get the letters perfectly as you can see, you will not believe how much layers I used to be able to get that result, to get a clear result. I think I did use like over 15 layers to get the, le the letters done and be able to make the letters able to stay over the time when you wash it too, because I wanted the to wear the shoes a lot. As you can see, they are very <laughs> dirty. I used to wear them a lot, um, so over the time they got pretty good. They are staying in a pretty good shape. I'm very happy about it. As you can see, the midsole is still in very good condition, and I, I wore them like, I would say over 50 times, 50 days of wearing them, and they did not move, which is really surprising because I know that. A lot of people get some V2s that are getting yellowing, but it's not my case, fortunately. So, um, there it is. Uh, for the toe box, as for the toe box, as you can see, um, it is not very flat as Jedi 5 does it, because I don't have the skill to cut the the shoes and to be able to make it as flat as it does so I went for steam toe mod that was made by uh, I don't remember the name but it was a very whole post so you have to put a sock into uh, sorry for the camera you have to put a sock into the shoe and uh, you have to make it very slowly with a towel on it and make it very very gently and I did it for like over 10 times to get it this way. I know it's still not flat as I wanted, but it's a bit better about how it did look when it was uh, stuck. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll uh, see you next time.